Namaste dear learners. Today we are going to see a VNR Vijnan Jyotis, one of the differentiator lab protocol for applied physics lab. In that context, we are going to see for one experiment. Before that, what is a lab protocol and what is its objective? So the main objective is to structure and conduct the lab course as an interconnected whole rather than isolated parts means learning is not enough applying is important is the motto for the lab protocol to continuously map lab work on classwork and syllabus to enhance the depth of learning make the students more imaginative creative and independent in problem solving motivate the students to design and planning of new experiment rather than just conducting the experiment and to make students to feel that they're accomplishing means heartfully they're completing the task of a major project or a task or a simple experiments in the lab and to incorporate intellectual and manual skills of doing something so all these skills will be developed in the lab space so where the lab protocol is much useful in simple we can say the lab protocol is the bridge between your experiment and application the experiment what we are doing here are going to be applied somewhere what is that somewhere is known with the lab protocol in that context in, the, in this video we are going to see one experiment that is diffraction grating using laser which is a part of applied physics lab and for that first we'll see the concept the diffraction you all know diffraction is nothing but a bending of light at sharp edges and another new word come into the picture here grating grating is nothing but multiple slits multiple means how many is it two or three or four but how many are there there are dealing with 12,500 to 15,000 lines per inch or you can say slits per inch we are going to deal with such kind of grating now come to diffraction as we discussed bending at sharp edges but is it enough to get diffraction no the size of obstacle should be comparable to the wavelength and the diffraction is so profound that it gives the credence to the wave nature of light in diffraction is a kind of interference the waves are originating from every point on the incoming wave front the reason why the pattern looks almost the same that has alternate dark and bright fringes and if i take a laser with the different slits if we try if i put one slit and laser pass it through that this will be the diffraction pattern if i add one more slit this is the pattern if I add one more, see the pattern, how it changes. So this is for four slits, five slits and seven slits here. But if I go to the bigger number, like as we said before, 12,500 to 15,000 slits, if we take and this will be the pattern and this we are going to perform in the lab. But the thing is good, what we are going to do in the lab? The main objective of this experiment is to obtain the diffraction pattern due to multiple narrow parallel slits termed as a grating using a laser source and to determine the wavelength of laser and angle of diffraction. To do this experiment, we are providing with the laser light source, grating, meter scale, grating holder and optical bench. So what we do and how we do this one in the lab, we will take this laser source and this is a grating we will take and when laser is incident on that, that laser gets diffracted that we are going to experience it practically in the lab. But what do we measure? We calculate this angle of diffraction theta for order one. This is for two theta. By using this, we are going to find out the lambda that is wavelength of given laser source. In this, D is a grating element. So grating element is nothing but in simple slit width. 
in general the manufacturer is giving the grating in terms of inches means 15,000 LPI for example refers to 15,000 lines per inch so for our convenience we are converting these inches into centimeters as we know 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter so this D can be written as 2.54 centimeter by N where N is the number of lines in a grating and here M is the order of diffraction it depends on number of lines in a grating we are going to have different orders so that we will experience it in the lab that's fine we do the experiment and we apply this formula and we calculate the wavelength but what is the useful of this one so the major applications of diffraction is in simple we can say it establishes the wave nature of beam particles that's fine but what is end application so diffraction resolves the image produced by source consists of two slightly different wavelengths so in a resolution this diffraction play a role and we are all using da uh, digital data storage data in uh, CD and DVDs so that recording into the CD or retrieving or reproducing the data from the CD we use lasers that is with the different wavelengths so the wavelength play a major role like this and the wavelength of laser can be find out using this experiment and another one in microscopes especially focusing biological microscope we use lasers and diffraction phenomena and another most important one application is a holography so symbol of purity you can say in simple in that hologram preparation we need lasers and we need diffraction phenomena for these applications we need to know about the diffraction and lasers so to get a good idea we come up with a photographs here see this hologram is prepared with laser only without laser we cannot prepare this one this kind of holograms you can observe especially when you open your mobile phone when it is new or if you see any uh, textbooks they come with the holograms and this is the another phenomena x-ray diffraction if we prepare any new material our first job is to go for x-ray diffraction here only we will understand whether the material is a it's a amorphous crystalline or polycrystalline so that will be understood at this x-ray diffractometer so here also the phenomenon of diffraction is useful so in this context we are ending the experiment but what how can we extend this experiment so this is what we are going to do in the lab we are taking a red color laser incidenting on the grating you will get a diffraction pattern and we calculate the wavelength but how can we extend it simple instead of laser the same experiment you can also perform with white light but do we the white laser exist no white laser does not exist so how can i do this one yes with the normal light we can do it but we need to take the help of spectrometer so if you take a white light you are able to see a colors like this as we shown here so in this way we can extend this experiment for a better learning so after completion of the experiment you should be understand the concept of diffraction you should be strengthened in that and you will realize the directionality property of a laser and you will understand the diligence in handling the laser instrument is enhanced definitely and you can confidently apply this knowledge in your future endeavors of technological improvements and your projects and research with this conclusion we are closing this experiment so we, we acknowledge the Google and other virtues for the images and team physics, HOD department of H&S and principal director and management of VNR VJIT for this. Thank you all. In case of questions or queries, kindly post in comment box. Once again, thank you one and all. Happy learning.